Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Super Sonic J. Welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild for Nintendo Wii U. So yeah, guys, um, today we're going to go to Eventide Island, you know, that island over there. And we can't see it right now because, of course, it's raining because why not? It always rains in this game. But uh, yeah, here's the thing. We're going to go to Eventide Island and we're going to try and beat it without picking up anything. So we're not going to use any weapons, no shields, no bows, no nothing. Not even any food. We're literally kind of just going to try and beat Eventide Island only using the Sheikah Slate. Because, yeah, you have to use the Sheikah Slate in order to complete it. Because some puzzles require it. But, uh, you gotta do today in today's episode. So, we're gonna go and get started the video. Make sure I hit that like button. It's a real episode a lot. And comment and subscribe to my channel. But, uh, yeah, uh, no food, no weapons, no nothing. And as you know, if you've beaten Eventide, if you played Eventide Island before, it takes away all your stuff and all that. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and make our way over there and start a challenge. So, let's do it. It's so Alright, so what you want to do here is you want to go and glide our way on over there, but honestly, wind bombing is probably the better route to go here, because, uh, you just go way faster, and it just, it's just so much easier that way, dude. Like, it just, wind bombing's way more fun than anything else, dude. I don't know if I'm gonna get the, oh, I got that one, nice. That was a good one, too. I don't know how far I'm gonna go here, though. It'd be nice to land on, like, one of the platforms in the later areas, but... Here's the thing, I can't really see anything because of this stupid rain, because this game constantly rains. Alright, we're going to go ahead and switch on over to the stamina here. Just get our stamina back here and everything. This, and, and our health back too. But yeah, I literally, you, you cannot see still because the rain in this game just never stops, dude. I'm trying to get like a shortcut here and go all the way over here so that we can get a little bit of a head start here. But I don't know how well this is going to go for me. We're, we're creeping up on the shortcut, I think. It, it's still... I can barely see, dude. Am I in the right spot? There it is over there. Uh, I don't think we're going to land on a top platform, though, dude. Yeah, we're not landing on there, dude. Alright, whatever. To you who traveled to this island. That's right, I'm here. I present you a challenge. In your tra travels, you rely on the equipment you found all along the way. Yeah, I know. Well, honestly, in this file, I don't have a lot of equipment. Here, you must cast this equipment aside. You to travel through only your wits and whatever you can sca scavenge. Uh, dude, we ain't scavenging nothing. We're better than that, you know? Offer out your orders to the three altars of the island. Own them and acknowledge your skill and return your items. Okay. Okay, whatever you say, man. Ah, But, uh, yeah, we're gonna do even tight island here. Alright, but yeah, we just want to get the orb here. We want to run away. <laughs> That's the first thing we want to do so far. Hi, goat. I'm gonna murder this Otter Rock real fast, please. Like, don't mind me. Just gonna murder this guy here, right here. I'm allowed to kill the enemies, guys. I'm allowed to kill the enemies. I'm just not allowed to pick up anything besides the orbs. All right, there we go. We can just walk around there. Very nice. But yeah, no weapons. Uh, no food. Nothing like that. Now, in case you're wondering, I have actually beaten this challenge before. Like, not in a video or anything, but I've beaten it on my own free time and all that. And it's it's pretty tough, actually. Like, the thing is that it's the last orb that we're going to be getting that's going to be the one that's going to really annoy us. Plus, another thing about Eventide Island is the fact that you cannot save when you're running around the island. Like, there's no saving or nothing. And the fact that we took a little bit of damage from that Octorok already tells you this is not to the best start here. Like, the Octoroks are really, like, one of our worst opponents, dude. Alright, so yeah. You have to use the Sheikah Slate, though. There is no other way around that, because I cannot get it up there without the Sheikah Slate. Alright, so yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and go one right about there. And hope. Alright, here we go. Toss it in there. Play some b ball. Alright, here we go. Uh, please, go in the hole. Thank you. Alright. That's number one complete. <clears throat> but don't think for a sec this is. Like, it's like, oh, man, oh, we, we're already off to a great start and everything. No. Like I said, no picking up food. 
I am allowed to kill enemies, though. With bombs. That's literally the only way I can really possibly think of to kill an enemy. But yeah, I can't pick up the no tree branches or nothing. In case I do, I, like, I'll like i have to get rid of it. And like, I, I could kill that guy if I wanted to, but... I, I kind of just want to kill this Octorok just so he's out of the way here, dude. Just so he's out of the way. Because the Octoroks are one of the biggest things to mess with. One of the toughest things to deal with, dude. So, here's my next plan. I want to go up to the top there, into that second place over there. And hopefully just kill a bunch of enemies here and there. The thing is, like, killing any enemies around here is pretty tough when I literally don't have nothing <laughs> besides Jashika Slate. Oh, God. But here's another thing. Like, all right, we're going to wipe out those guys if we can. Because it can be very helpful. But, yeah, I'm coming up here so I can basically just, like, uh, what is it? Deal with one of those guys. All right, I'm gonna go ahead. And... I tried, dude. I tried. Oh God, he almost hit me, dude. Oh, that hit me. That hit me? Are you kidding me, dude? That hit me. And I'm gonna have to jump for it. Alright, we're gonna have to take this guy's uh, thing here. Don't mind if I do good, sir. Let's go. Uh, Link. He was stuck there for a sec. Oh, crap. I should have moved that metal box, dude. And we're still going to have the one more Bokoblin to deal with up here, dude. And we are, we're already at half our health bar right now, dude. Half of our health bar is gone right now. And we have a Hinox chasing me. With a Bokoblin up here for dessert. For dessert? I don't know. I'm going to try and be smart here. And like go around over here. Try and throw him off guard and everything. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Let's freaking go, guys. And once his face went back to take his nap and all that, how nice. Alright. We keep it going. We keep it going, but here's the thing. This next part will be the most challenging section of them all. So, what I want to do here is, well, there's a whole lot of enemies in this area over here. And I had to, like, try and find a way to get around all of them. But the thing is, like, they're on watchtowers and everything, dude. It's pretty tough. This is this is literally going to be the toughest part of the challenge right here. This is the final part. We're almost down with this. No! Are you kidding me, dude? I forgot those boulders fell there, dude. And the worst part is there's no saving on Even Tide Island. Being to start this all over again. Like, of course, of all things, a boulder. Now, I don't even die in honor from like a Bokoblin guarding his territory or whatever. I die from a freaking boulder that randomly is falling down. I don't know why the boulder falls down in that spot, too, considering the enemies aren't pushing them down there. I, I completely forgot that was a thing around here. Like, just sometimes just some random boulder to just fall down on you like that. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Breath of the Wild. Thanks for making that a thing in this game. Because I definitely appreciate that. I, I really appreciate that. Alright, there's one again. Alright, so now if I can get lucky like I did the first try. And, like, wipe everything out again. That'd be very nice, but... I don't know if that's going to happen, to be honest. That did not... Okay, that did kill him. Okay. We're good. Oh, 
That did not kill him either. Is he dead? He's gonna go for the weapon. Now he's dead. Let's go. We did it, guys. Number two. But yeah, really the worst part about even Tyon is the fact that I just cannot save. Like, if I could save, even Tide might not have been as bad. Like, I enjoy even Tide too. It's it's fun to play around with and everything, but okay, we gotta be prepared. I don't know if there's any boulders around here. But there's that guy. Let's just take care of him real fast. Alright, that did not hurt me, okay. I want to come over from the other side, really. Dude. I will literally die if a boulder falls down on me right now. Like, sometimes you can take a hit from a boulder and still be fine. But I don't think without armor or nothing... Like, I'm literally completely powerless, pretty much. I'm trying to, like, go to this side. So that... Well, first of all, so that nothing tries to fall on me at the last second. Second of all, so I'm like away from the enemies here, and I can be safe. Alright, no enemies, please. Let him charge at me or not. Go, if you were to hit me, dude... If that stupid goat were to hit me, dude, I would have been so pissed. Like, beats, beats island trial easily, gets killed by a goat. <laughs> so here's, a, here's the other thing. I could wipe them all out with bombs. But then again, and doing that is kind of tough, dude. And then BOOM! Shakalaka! I wish that... What the heck is he doing? Oh no, he's in a worse spot, dude. Oh no, we got rain, guys. But yeah, here's the strat that the game wants to... Well, I'm supposed to do. I had to push this thing off of here. But I think... I'm trying to remember how I did this before originally. I had to use a bomb. I had to grab a bomb here. Throw it like that. And completely fail. And just basically be as patient as humanly possible and try and move it like that. But it did nothing because I messed up so badly. And now I have to wait for this thing to replenish here, dude. Lightning to the rescue! <laughs> The lightning, it dis just destroyed the Bogoblin, dude. <laughs> Alright, and we have no metal equipment, so we should be safe, but you never know. You never know what it's going to be like, dude. Alright, that was good, actually. Do that again. Okay. But yeah, as you can see, it just doesn't really go far. I honestly don't know what the best way to do this part is. I cannot remember. The wrist and go for this. That didn't kill him, did it? He's still breathing, dude. Did he not take any damage at all? Like, what just happened there? Like, he's still alive, dude. How is that Bokoblin still alive? Guys, we got this. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. This is a wrap. We got this. There we go! 
We got the final orb in there. Let's go, guys. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, we did it. We did it. There we go. We beat Eventide Island without any weapons, any shields, any bows, any clothes or armor. Like, no food. We just did that. We just did that, guys. We just did that. Let's freaking go. Come, enter the shrine. With pleasure, man. I would have laughed if, like, the, the Bokoblin spotted me or something like, He's here! And then, like, I just immediately die. Now, it would have been funnier if I died from a random boulder again. <laughs> it's like, oh, wow. I didn't expect a boulder to hap to fall on me after I complete the challenge and everything. But, yeah, guys, we did it. We beat even Tai Island with literally nothing but the Sheikah Slate. And yeah, like, like I said, you cannot do, beat it without the Sheikah Slate. You cannot, because you can't move that thing without, like, getting, like, stasis on it or whatever, because you cannot push it. Well, you can definitely beat the, the, the uh, Hinox one, but the one with the, like, you have to use Cryonis. You might be able to if you use a Rafter or something, but I don't know. Alright, let's go ahead and grab our reward here real fast. So what we get? 300 rupees, yeah. Yeah, you're trying to bribe me for that? Yeah. You know what I had to go for to get that 300 rupees, dude? I had to, do like, a, like I, first of all, random boulder. Thank you, random boulder, for killing me. Shout out to random boulder there. And then, um, like, I had to use so many bombs in stasis in order to just try and get through that last part, dude. Oh, that was terrible. That was terrible. But we did it. We did it, guys. That's that's the bright side. We did that. We did that. It would have probably been first try if it wasn't for that random boulder. Because we were killing it up to that point. And then we had this little Rito man here. So, hey, man, how's it going? Hope you're doing well today. Okay, you, you just want to take that? Fine, that's fine, dude. That's fine. That's fine. He's fine. All right, guys, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and end things off for there. So thank you all so much for watching. If you hit the like button and comment, subscribe to my channel. So yeah, I uh, hope you're going to have a great summer. I know summer hasn't technically started yet, but you know, it's June. People consider it the start of summer. So good enough. All right, thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye, guys. Before you're